Hello once again, this is Private J with another tutorial, uh, After Effects tutorial, and it is going to be on Twixter. Yeah, I did get a lot of messages of how to do slow motion Twixter effect, so basically what you want to do is, okay, yeah, this might be one of my longest uh, tutorials, but you know, just like stick with me, and I'll put the Twixter plugin um in the description okay so basically you want to open after effects import a clip uh we'll go to like whatever um like a throwing knife clip across the map uh so let it just import you want to drag it down to the composition button go like this go up here go to composition settings uh, you basically just, for right now, you don't know how long your Twitch is going to be, so just make it a minute. Um, okay, so basically go to the part in time where you want to do Twixter. So, like, right there. Okay, so now what you want to do, you want to go up to Layer, Frame Blending, and Pixel Motion. This makes a huge difference when you're using Twixter, trust me. Okay, so now what you want to do, you want to go to Effect. Oh, hold on. Select your clip, like just click on it. Go to Effect. Uh, this, Twixter Pro. Um, input the thing that you had it on. If you have an HD PVR, you want to make it 59.94. And if you have a Dazzle, just make it 30. I don't know, it doesn't really make a difference. Go to main BG layer settings, go down to 60, careful, okay. Okay, so now what you want to do, you want to go to your clip, click down on the down, uh, down arrow or whatever, click on effects, Twixter Pro, and again with the main VG should be 60, if it isn't, change it to that. Okay, so basically all we're going to be using is output control. So what you want to do, it's already at a hundred. So click. So okay. So basically, what you want to do, go to the time where you want to uh, use Twixter, and um, I will do it like right when I'm like throwing the knife. Uh, should be like here. Let's just go by a frame. Let's go right here. Okay. So go down to your speed you want to click that go over about a frame and bring it all the way down to like five which is like really really nice twixter i really recommend going down to five uh... and then just go to whatever whenever you want to like make it stop so basically when the hand goes away Um, okay, so make another keyframe, and then go over one more frame, uh, go to speed, and make it 100. So, basically, this is what it should look like. Um, so now it's like all super slow motion, and if it's not what you wanted, then, I mean, that really sucks, but this is probably, uh... Yeah, it's really nice. So, yeah, let's just export it and see what it looks like. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pause it for right now, and I'll get back to you when it's done exporting. Alright, uh, yeah, so the rendering is about done. Um, yeah, but there is a one thing that I missed. Uh, if you don't understand how to, like, export it or you're... Or this is like your first time then um, here let me just show you so just let mine finish rendering okay so go to your uh, okay yeah it's done okay so now go uh, before you actually render it uh, be sure like um, you go up here composition settings and you know how we put it at like one minute in the beginning yeah, if it's not as long as one minute, and say for mine is like almost at six seconds, 
uh, you basically just want to say you want to go to your composition settings and uh, take off the one minute, turn it back to zero, and just bring it down to like six seconds. That's what I did. And then you want to take your work area end thing, click it, and just basically end it where your clip ends. Okay, so now let's go to the desktop and see how uh, Twixter look, works or blah, looks. Just let After Effects quit. I'm sorry, I'm like running, like doing this stuff. Okay, so here's our clip. Um, so let's go ahead and see this. Uh, yeah, it's probably like a gigabyte big, but um, if you want to see a really nice Twixter, once you get it down and right, this is what it should look like. This is Twixter. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please thumbs up if it helped you. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, this has been Private J. I'm signing off. Goodbye.